Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Trakulic and as you might already know, uh, Python is a very uh, robust yet very easy to learn uh, programming language uh, that is also open source and free. So you can download it and you can start using it and uh, just producing and uh, you know uh, your programs. So let's let's first see how you could uh, go ahead and download your copy of Python. And in order to do so, all you have to do is to go ahead and navigate your browser with your browser to the python.org. Uh, okay, and enter. So we go to the Python, uh, you know, website and you want to head over to the download section and uh, click on that download and you are presented with the download python here uh, section and you can uh, you can choose from a list of various uh, uh, versions uh, depending upon the operating system you are using so let's say we wanted to download the installer for the windows 64 okay uh, bit uh, operating system so just click on the installer and you are presented with the uh, save file uh, dialog uh, pop-up dialog box so just click and uh, hit, uh, click save file and all right I have already downloaded my copy of Python and the installer is very simple actually you can just click you all you want to do is to just click next 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 and uh, you know and Python is going to uh, get installed in your machine. So after Python has been installed, uh, we would like to test if uh, we can run actually Python. And we have a couple of options for uh, running uh, Python and for for typing code in Python. Uh, let let me show you what options we have. First of all, you could go if you are using, for example, Windows uh, operating system, uh, like uh, me here in my machine here. Uh, you can go to the Start menu, and you want to, uh, you can go always and enable the the Python command line, which is a, a CLI or command line uh, command line interface uh, that is uh, specifically, um, uh, you know, uh, for uh, typing in uh, Python code. Right, so that's one option you have. I want to say you here that Python is an interpreted, what we call interpreted programming language, meaning that you don't have to compile uh, your source code into an object code or machine code as you will do with some other compiled language. So uh, Python is interpreted language, meaning that uh, it has what we call the Python shell that uh, interprets and executes Python code real time. All right. So you, all you have to do, all you need to do, will be to just type in your code and then run the module, as you are going to see in, in just a while, and that's it. And uh, the, interpre the interpreter translates your source code into a code that your machine can understand. Right, and the program is running almost real time. Of course, this is very good for Python portability because you can just take your code and and put it in another machine, and that will run very very easily. It's very very as we call it portable uh, code. So w one option you have is to run Python through this. Uh, you know Python uh, console here or uh, CLI or command line interface. Another option you uh, you have is to go uh, if you are using Windows and uh, always you want to go to the command prompt. All right, so just bring up the command prompt here, and the command prompt is the usual uh, command line interface that uh, uh, every Windows machine uh, has. So uh, now here usually it opens uh, at the uh, user's personal folder. So we want to change the directory and head over to the directory where the Python uh, resides. So uh, let's press uh, CD, so change directory and uh, space. And then I want to go to the directory which is usually the uh, C, C uh, column backslash Python 3.0 because this is the version I want to uh, work with now backslash enter and you can see we have 
uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, we, we are here now in the uh, Python directory. And in order to enable now the interpreter, all we have to type is just Python. So Python, enter. And as you can see now, the uh, the the, pro the command pro the command prompt here is loading the uh, Python interpreter here. Okay, so now I can start typing in some code, and the code is instantly uh, get getting evaluated, and I have my result. So having my Notepad here open, I can type in a simple program. For example, I can uh, use the print function, which is used for outputting for output. All right. Uh, something, uh, some code uh, on the screen, for example, and uh, parenthesis, uh, double code, hi, and welcome. All right, and closing, double quotes, and closing paren. Paren, okay? So now I want to save this very simple program as a py or python file. So, uh, in order to do so, all I have to do is to go to File and save my program. But first, let's enable our command prompt here. And let me show you how you could, for example, make a, a directory, okay, and uh, a, a directory or a folder in uh, using the command prompt. So, first of all, let's change our directory here from the default C uh, backslash column backslash users backslash, backslash, backslash excuse me peter into something like cd and cd means uh, change directory all right this is the command line uh, you know uh, uh, command and i want to make this to be um, perhaps c column backslash a, a users uh, backslash peter backslash backslash desktop backslash okay and enter now we are in uh, our desktop and I want to type in mkdir which stands for make directory okay and I want to make a new directory I, I'm going to name it as uh, learning learning python Okay, and now here it is my directory. So I want to head over to this directory here. Okay, and uh, let's, uh, you know, uh, go inside this directory. All right, but before that, I, I want to uh, go to my notepad here. Okay, and I want to save my file as a Python file with the py extension. So here in my learning Python directory, and I can save it with the uh, that .py uh, you know extension that's very important so learning learning python .py all right that's very very important enter now i have saved this so so let's now open the command prompt once more and i want to uh, head over first to my python uh, interpreter uh, folder so cd change folder uh, C uh, colon uh, backslash uh, Python 3.0 uh, 3.0 enter now I want to call the Python uh, you know command from uh, for this folder and I want to type in the uh, URL the address for the uh, for the uh, for my uh, for my py or Python program I have just uh, typed in so Python learning python so you can see uh, we had a typo there but uh, if we type it again uh, correctly this time 
you can see that uh, you have uh, your Python program uh, run here, running here, hi and welcome. So it does what we want f for this for this program to do, which is to, to print a hi and welcome, uh, you know, uh, string here uh, on our screen. So that's how you can uh, type in, save and, uh, and run different Python programs. Now, an easier way for doing the same thing will be to go uh, and enable what we call the IDE or uh, working with an ID or integrated development environment. Of course, Python, uh, you can, you can uh, work with Python in many different IDEs out there, okay? Uh, it is integrated in, in various IDEs, but there is an IDE called IDLE, I-D-L-E, that is, which is the, uh, the built-in IDLE uh, ID that comes bundled with the, the Python uh, you know, download, uh, you know, version you have downloaded. So, uh, if you head over, if you are using Windows and you head over to the to the start menu and you go to the Python of all programs and you find Python folder from all programs, okay, then you can find this uh, ID, idle ID. So, I'm, I'm going ahead and I'm opening this I, uh, I'm uh, opening this Id idle environment. So this is the one I'm, I'm talking to you about, which is an integrated development environment, meaning that it has both a text editor and an interpreter, uh, right? All in one. Okay, so now here, what we can do is, first of all, we can uh, use it as a, uh, what we call the Python shell, which we can use for, for evaluating and uh, testing and experimenting with the different uh, code uh, aspects of Python, the different functions, the different uh, getting help. So if I wanted to say to, uh, to type in a very simple statement, such as print, open paren, uh, quotes, uh, hi, and welcome. All right. Closing quotes, closing parentheses, and just hit enter, and it's going to get evaluated as the hi and welcome, uh, you know, uh, string here. Okay, so that's how you can use the interpreter for uh, for for a few lines of code for testing for testing a few li lines of code, but you don't want certainly to use it for writing entire programs. Okay, uh, but you can have, for example, you can find help here. You can uh, test out. Uh, some functions, uh, how they work, and things like that. You can play around, but for for a full program, for a for a um, for an entire program, you want to use uh, go up here to the file, and you want to bring up the text editor for this. So a new window, so or equally, you can press Control N, and a new window is opening now. Okay, here, excuse me, Control N, and this window here, pop-ups, and this is the where we can start typing, uh, you know, uh, our uh, actual code. And you can see at the same time the interpreter is running, the Python shell uh, is running in the background here. So let's go ahead and, and type in the same program, print, very, very, very simple statement. And you can see that we have also some syntax highlighting here. So depending upon the function you call, the, the colors change here. And you have always the option to go here and configure the idle by going uh, by going to the options, configure idle, and uh, highlighting here and select from either a built-in theme or you can load a custom theme. You can, you know, uh, change all those uh, colors here and uh, for example I have here a new theme here and let's try this out here okay and let's hit apply and you, ha you you're going to see that you have changed the colors all uh, right and now let's click OK and we can keep uh, typing hi and welcome All right, here you can see the end is a keyword, so that's why I, I forgot to enter the uh, quotes here. So that's why it uh, evaluated it as a keyword end and not the string end. So closing parenthesis, right? Of course, you have always the options if you don't like the scheme, highlighting scheme, go up here and uh, built in theme and apply, you know, and uh, okay, and you have returned to your default uh, scheme, anyways, uh, highlighting uh, options. And uh, now we can see that uh, we have typed in a print statement 
uh, this is a full program actually and we can uh, save it so file uh, go ahead and uh, file save as all right save us or control shift s and we are presented uh, let's save it uh, somewhere here perhaps uh, in the high as uh, high uh, learn okay program py that py you can see the uh, it is by default uh, we have the py extension so and the save and now we can run the program by going up here run and run module or uh, equally press f5 and here you can see that we can have our program executed and run uh, here in the uh, in the Python shell window. So it's time you want to restart your Python shell and reset your Python shell. You click Control F6, and here it is how you restart your shell. Okay, uh, all the way from the start. So uh, that was my quick tip, uh, quick uh, tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, many other will follow uh, on uh, on uh, Python uh, language. It's very nice very robust very easy to learn uh, and very elegant language so if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with another hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye